Hello, and welcome to another edition of How to Draw Celtic Knots. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. Today, I'd like to show you a page from a Celtic gospel book of St. Willibrord. It's from about 690 AD, and that puts its completion right in between the book of Lindisfarne and the book of Duro. As you can see on this page, there's a nice border with a lot of different Triskel designs going all the way around it. And the text reads Imago Hominus, which means, which means the image of man. And that is the symbol of St. Matthew. What I'd like to show you in particular is how to draw this crescent or pretzel shaped Triskel knot. The reason why it would be a Triskel because is because it would repeat every three steps. If you follow one line, it would go one, two, three, before it starts to repeat the pattern again. So, tools you are going to need to have to do this are a pencil, a nice straight edge, an eraser, and two markers of different widths, maybe even a really fat marker too. Begin by taking your ruler and drawing on the top and the bottom. Next, make a grid by turning your ruler perpendicular draw these lines fairly lightly because you're going to erase them in order to get that pattern. Just make your grid. Now, starting from your first line, in the second grid, score a line in between so it's split up. The reason why is because we're not doing a grid we're going to be doing a basic 2 by 3 pattern. Just erase those two lines there. And do the same down here in order to get not quite a square grid but a 2 by 3 grid there so in this camera I can fit 3 next you're going to plot out the points there's 5 points basically in this pattern I want you to plot out almost like an elongated dice face of the number 5. You know that a dice face always has a square and a dot and then 5. Watch this. Let's so make an X in between each one. Like so. So you've got your center dots there. Now roughly because this is supposed to be fun. Just mark a line which is halfway from the center to the corner of each one. You can be as precise as you want, but if you want to go fast, you can do it with practice, just doing it freehand. Right, okay. Next, I want you to make another dot halfway between this dot and the corner on each one. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Next we're going to make that crescent. It's basically going to start here and end here. So you got one, two, 
to To do this lightly because you're going to be erasing your pencil marks. Next, what we're going to do is draw a slightly curved line here and here. So repeat that in each of your rectangles like that. Just try and make it a mirror image. Like so. Okay. Next, we're going to do quite the opposite up here. So it's going to go down a little bit and then up a little bit. Down a little bit and then up. Same with this one. Down and then over and up. This one's going to go down and then up. This one's going to go down and then up, like that. One more. Down and then up. Right. Okay. Now, draw a line from the center straight down in each one. Where these corners are, draw a line that's parallel to them and that doesn't go below or above. Because this is where this line is going to come down and then join up again. So, basically following the contours of this one, goes up here and meets there. This one would do the same. So you want to follow that contour and then have it cross out there. This line here is going to cross this one here. So you give it a nice curve like that. And have this follow this contour slightly and meet right there. Okay, so I'll do that on this one. Follow this contour. Like so. Follow this contour here. Crosses on the line and comes down. This one follows this contour crosses here, and this one will come down and intersect there. Now we're, looks like a mess, but it's not. <laughs> what we're going to do in the next segment is we're going to start outlining these and alternating over and under.